Hello everybody, this is Quiversy, and welcome to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This is a game made by uh, Koji Igarashi, who was one of the main heads of the Castlevania franchise, I believe starting with Symphony of the Night, which of course is one of the main games credited for creating the um, Metroidvania genre. One of my personal favorite genres of all time. I remember I backed this game a long time ago on Kickstarter when it was first announced. And it's been a long time coming, but finally here. Just released a couple days ago. And I'm really excited to dive right in. So, without further ado... Um, I already did mess around with the configuration, so let's just go straight to the game. New data. Miriam. That is not my name. I gotta use a keyboard for this part. Yes, my name is Quiversy. Difficulty... The difficulty is... I can't play higher difficulties. Dang it, I wanted to jump right in on the highest difficulty. Ah well. If the game's not gonna let me be stupid, I won't be stupid. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the Shardbinders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jeebel, a boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who was spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed, and mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable. Interesting. So the profile is going to be named Miriam. I'm guessing that's who we're going to be in control of here. Oh, man, I love the art style of this. It's so detailed. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent, and the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brothers subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well, let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead, if Jebel is responsible for the summoning. 
then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. Missing the let in there. <laughs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? Experiments. I wish I had the answer. The answer is science. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. Magic is but another form of science. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. See? I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Okay. Nice. Run, jump. Kick. That's a satisfying kick. All right. Now, well, this is the, clearly the box you're talking about. How do I? How do I? How do I box? I've learned how to slide and ba back dash. Okay, that's kind of weird. No matter which way I'm facing, it's going on the same button. Oh, wait a minute. There's a map up there. Okay, you say the chest back there. I think this box here. But this is a, admittedly a bit more obvious. Okay, got it. I just have viewed under equipment inside the main menu. So, kung fu shoes and a knife. Okay, and wait, how do I... Oh, I can choose. Shoes, attack eight, daggers, attack eight, so... I'm guessing that's like a, the indicator down there dictates what type of move it is. So this is like a bludgeoning move. This is a piercing move. Let's see, so yeah, over on the left there, we have our stats: strength, int, luck, con, mind, defense, attack, condition. I guess it's for like status ailments, resists for. I'm going to assume that's slashing, pierce, bludgeon, fire, ice, lightning. Death portal, light, poisons, death again, and rocks. That's what I'm going with for now. I was like I can equip two things in the weapons. Good. Oh. You're prepared. The next order of business is to Hello, squid I'll thing! Take care of it. Say it over my knife! Ow! Whoa! Um, okay. Crystallized form of demon power cannot be handled by an ordinary human. Conjure shard to trigger a magic projectile. Cerulean splash. Was that a shard? Yes! I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. You know, that sounds painful, but not nearly as painful as what it looks like. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. Hard limit, got it. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. If I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. Wow, way to jump to assumptions. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> what is that? How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Okay, so first of all, I'm not surprised the knife was really short range, but I think I'm going to stick with the kick for now. Second of all, yes, true to Castlevania fashion. Kick the lights. Only the ones that aren't in the background, though. Mess up the floor and the bed. Get... I think that was money. Okay, so let's chase after that nightmare demon in Galleon Minerva. 
Um, can't yeah. seem to go up there. Can't jump high enough. All right, let's try that bouncing bubble. Nice. Oh, oh. Cows can drop a mana rose when destroyed. Okay, so that's the hearts. Mana rose is a magical rose that replenishes MP. And also, there's a bit of a beastie area. I'll uh, look at that later. Press A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. Can I open this? Got a consumable potion. Okay. Seems pretty this device standard. Responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Yes, of course. Um, so far to. Oh! Oh, I like that! That is cool! Like an aiming of magic. Oh, another of you! Boot! More boot! I will kick you! Oh, flying enemy. Wait! Didn't the game say earlier piercing? Good against fly! Yes! Okay. This feels pretty natural. I like it. And ooh, we got treasure over here. That? No, 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 no. I'm going down here first. No, 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 no. I'll uh, I'll deal with that dude later. Let's get a few more items, like a tunic, long shirt made of plain cloth. Pretty standard. You can save your pro. Okay, so this is a save room. May as well. Right. I'm gonna go a little bit farther before... Oh, what's this? Um, the following actions. Slash, thrust, and strike. Fire, ice, lightning, dark, poison, curse, and stone. What well, do you know? I was actually pretty close for a lot of that. <laughs> would, not have, would not have guessed dark out of the blood vortex, though. I don't know why, I just wouldn't. Poke the tar demon! Nah, more tar demons! Yeah, I was curious what they are. I should take a look at the archives. What are what is that thing? A mort. Yeah, now that I look at it, it looks almost like um freaking Plague Knight or something. It has a, a beak mask almost. That's the Sema, and that's the Alo. Neat. Sorry, I had to take a look at that. Sate my curiosity, as it were. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go down in a bit, but right now, I think, no putting it off. Let's, uh, let's fight this dude. Have water! You were easy! Level up! Not sure what that does for me. Rusted ring. Not sure what that does for me either. Let's find out. A rest of ring. Plus one to defense and con. I'll take it. Oh. Yeah, here's my shard options. So I have conjure, manipulative, directional, passive, and familiar shard options. Dang. There's a lot of variety here. I like it. And I guess leveling up just gives me a hard boost to my stats. So wasn't there somewhere I could go over here? You know, screw the knife. I'm kicking you in the face. That is way more satisfying than the knife. Get over here! I want to kick you some more! Come on! Excellent! Alright, so did I... I don't think I ever went up here, as the map is clear to indicate. Oh! Okay, no, that's totally doable. Stupid squids. Come on! Ugh. Nah, I keep jumping too soon. Also, I just don't notice. Looks like that my mana regenerates passively. So yeah, I can be very, very liberal with my spells. Third time's a charm! Here we go! Time to fight more squids above deck. And birds! Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't cast um, the water ball in the air. That's good to know. I like the level up effect. Alright, so what do I got? The country dress. Some um, that is better in every way. 
I'm not surprised, but I am minorly disappointed that it doesn't actually change her model in game, but as amazing as this looks, that would be a ton of work. Okay, I think I might know what that second slot on the inventory is, and I really want to know how to use it, because I have a feeling it... What? No! Wait, these things are random drops? Gale Crawler! Shock with the drops across the ground. Okay, excuse me a minute. Okay, it's one of these, so... Oh, that's beautiful. Although, I did notice something. Okay, rank increases coverage, rank increases duration. So you can rank these up. Well, I'm favoriting that because I like it. And I want to check something here. Can I... No, uh, I don't think I can. I'm under the assumption that I'll have, like, access to a quick change between two weapons or something. And I really want that. Because I would like to be able to switch between these. Let's go a little bit further. Whoa, not that much. No. I want to go back up, please. Hairband. There's going to be a lot of this, isn't there? <laughs> Just going in to put on the new shinies. Have some wind. Squids in the wind. All right. Yeah, there's a door up here. What have we? More tar demons. I forget what they're called already. More. Is that a cannon? That's a cannon. That's an invincible cannon? Nope, it's just... I guess it was out of range. Whoa! Okay, what did I get out of you? That was purple. Directional shard. Aim and press trigger to activate. Cast magic for the in direction. Flame cannon! Oh! Okay, I like the sound of this. There we go. Blow a hole in the wall with a cannon! I wonder. No, nope, can't use it in midair either. Or maybe you can and I just didn't have enough mana. I just realized I am very low. Definitely a bit more costly than the uh, more static moves. Some bronze and some sugar. That, to me, says... Crafting, maybe? Ah! Alright, there really isn't much going with these tar... tar demons. Okay, I've got some more mana. Let's try again. I can use it in midair! Excellent! Whoo, that's good. Writhing... excuse me, excuse me, writhing limb? Did I just rub off one of its tentacles and put it in my bag or something? I do believe that's what I've done. Have wind! Don't have enough mana for wind! Those things are kind of scary, honestly. Which is weird, because I die just as easily as everything else. Ooh, a map! Okay. Yeah, there's definitely more up there that I can't do yet. There's two items in here, looks like. Alright, two for one! Oh, did I just rank up? Hang on. Grade two. So there's a rank and a grade. I'm not sure what the difference is yet. But, um, yeah, I guess that that is a reason to hunt down monsters. Like, I could theoretically kill one of these and get another copy of that water splash. Or I could take more of their limbs, because of course I can. Uh... Short sword. Ooh. It's a slashing weapon. More attack than either of my other weapons. A little less reach than the shoes. But you can slice off their heads and send them flying. I accept the trade-off. Okay, looks like we have a dead end room over here, but first... Archives journal. Flashing air kit. Are you serious? Hold on. We have Street Fighter moves? How do you even... Oh, that costs 
some mana, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, I'll figure that out in a bit. For now, though... I think that's where we're gonna stop this first one. Next time on Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, we're gonna finish exploring this galleon and... maybe depart from it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.